Hello! In this video, you're going to learn how to name and write numbers with 12 digits. We all know how to name and write numbers with three digits. So let's start that out uh, with just three digits to learn our keywords for this lesson. This is the number 123. This is the number's name. This is how we write the number. The one is in the hundreds place, the two is in the tens place, and the three is in the ones place. That's what we call place value. And finally, every symbol that we write to make up a number is called a digit. So in this case, the digit three is in the ones place. Now that we've got those basic four vocabulary words down, we're gonna do a couple of examples to know how we can change from these digits to these words. So first we want to find the name for a 12 digit number. We've got a number here. Let's follow the three steps in order to find the name for this number. <clears throat> First, we need to break it into three digit groups. We can do this with spaces or with commas, okay? Then we need to name the families. Well, the family closest to the right doesn't actually have a name. It's our normal 100 tens ones pattern. But as soon as we move on from 100, our next family name is thousand. This is the thousands. Then the next family is the millions. When we go to the next set of three digits, that's the millions. And finally, this one will be a little bit confusing because it's different in Spanish, but in English, these next three digits are called the billions. So now that we've named the families, we repeat the hundred tens ones pattern. What does that mean? That basically means that we're gonna read four three digit numbers in order, but we're gonna punctuate it with the family names. Listen to how I do that. So here I see 485, and I'm going to read that 485 billion, that's right, that's the billions family, 673 million, 804,020, okay? Be careful with those zeros, they can be tricky. Not every single family will have a hundreds place and a tens place and a ones place. Some of them might be filled with zeros, so just keep a lookout for that. So this number, has the name 485,673,804,020. That's how we can find the name for a 12 digit number. Now let's try it again, but backwards. Let's say we have the name, but we need to find the digits that can represent it. We wanna make it shorter and use symbols and math to communicate an idea. Well, we're gonna write the number given the name, and we've got three steps for this one as well. So the name that we're gonna practice with is down here in green. And I want you to follow these three steps. <clears throat> Our first step is to circle or indicate each of the family names, okay? So we're going to do that. First, I'm reading, 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 and then I see ding, 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 billion. That's the first family name I'm looking for. So on that one, I'm gonna put a dot. Next, I'm reading da, 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 da million. That's the next family name, so I'll put a dot here. The reason I'm putting a dot here is I wanna remind myself that this isn't going to be one of the digits that I write. In fact, it's helping me realize when I've made it to three different digits, okay? Next, after billion and million comes, that's right, thousand, okay? So we're gonna look 155,000, and that goes our last dot. In a 12-digit number, the families will always be billions, millions and thousands. That's the only difference with that would be if there were three zeros in a row. Only in that case might we skip one of the places and then we'll just have to know to put it in there, okay? So 700 billion. In my first family, I need to write 700. So that's gonna be a seven followed by two zeros. 23 million. In my next family, I need to write 23. But I can't forget the zero that's gonna come before that. When I wanna make 23 with three digits, I put zero, then two, then three. Next, 155,000, I'll write one, five, five for 155. And as I make a comma or a space, I'll move on to my last hundred tens ones pattern, 911, so nine, one, one. That number looks like this, 700 billion, 23 million, 155,911, okay? Make sure you watch out for those zeros. They can be tricky. 
I'd like you to practice this technique. When you're going from a number into the name or when you're going from a name into the number. Remember that we focus on these three digit family groups, billions, millions, and thousands. And now it's your chance to try. Watch out for those zeros.